Papilloma literally means warts, but that doesn't mean you definitely get warts if you have HPV. Some people do not get warts. So how can you explain this? Well, there's different types of papilloma has different. There's the venereal warts, mm -hmm. which are the benign papillomas, and there's the ones that are called malignant lesions that don't show wars, okay. that they're not going to have wars per se. And you have the different kinds of wars. We do have a graphic that will help us go through these type of wars and where these are most common. Can you talk a little bit about these, doctor? Well, there's definitely different types of wars. The, the genital wars are more likely the ones associated with the HPV vaccine. Okay. Um, there's, there's the common wars are, are associated with other viruses that are not necessarily HPV related, mm -hmm. um, but they are, they are viral, so they do spread from one to the other. The plantar wars in general are, are the ones that are, you know, definitely in the surface of your feet and your hands and all those, and those also have some um, viral association with it, but not HPV related, and the flat ward are a, a variety of the plantar wars. They're just not, they're similar to it. And we'll talk about this in greater detail in our delivery segment, but if you have active warts, this may indicate you may need a cesarean section, a C-section, is this correct? Not necessarily. Okay. Unless you actually have lesions that are obstructing the cervical canal, and those lesions have to be very, very large, most likely the HPV lesions or any type of wars would not be an indication for cesarean section.